like uh, introduce uh, um, Andrea Pellitzer is uh, the uh, script writer and uh, cinematographer and producer of the movie My Name is Adil and uh, Giacomo Rocchini for the Q&A before the screening of the movie. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Ciao. Yeah. Um, so, Andrea, um, uh, this movie um, tells the story of uh, a young boy that moves from Morocco to Italy. Adil. It's a true story. I'd like to know, how did you come in contact with Adil, how your uh, relationship uh, was born, and, and how did you decide to make this movie? Okay, uh, hello to everybody. Uh, I met Adil for the first time uh, six years ago. I was, at that time, I was a teacher uh, in the university, and uh, I have a course to make a movie without money. And it was very good. <laughs> uh, at that time, I, have a, um, I used to play football with a friend that was uh, the chief of uh, a sort of community center for uh, young people that come from a foreigner country and without visa permit. So uh, during the football uh, uh, play, okay, I'm sorry for my English again, um, I used to talk with him and he, uh, he was in a period without a job and without a future. So in uh, that summer, I, I was organizing a, a sort of campus for multimedia, and I asked him to, him to, to help him uh, with the job. And we spent one summer in the north of Italy with another 100 uh, boys and girls from different country, and uh, with a lot of uh, professors of uh, cinema, uh, music, act, uh, and uh, it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful moment to uh, do something and to realize something uh, very full of hope. So in September, Adil decided for the first time to come back in Morocco, and I borrowed him uh, a camera, and I asked to him to take uh, some shots, some shooting, and ask to the people in Morocco, what's the idea about uh, Europe and about Italy? And uh, he do, he did. And uh, uh, from October, he started to work with me in production company and uh, start to, with another girl that was in the campus, Magda, to, um, to start to edit the, um, uh, the shooting. And this is, was the first part of the movie, okay? Uh, I want just to um, say that this movie is a very, uh, not a new realistic movie, but hyper realistic movie because we shoot in the same location with the same part of the family where uh, uh, Adil born and grow up. And uh, the, the main character of the movie is Adil and his brother that do the character when Adil was a teenager. Okay, this is very important things because it's a small movie, but um, we, we are very proud of this movie because <clears throat> it's very realistic and full of hope. Yeah, in fact, I um, I would have loved to ask you how was to work with. Um, I assume most of them were non-professional actors, um, and uh, you know, Italy comes from a, a long history of uh, of working with with real people to tell real stories. And so I'd like to ask you, how was the experience to work in Morocco with these people? Um. Um, well, my first movie, the main character was my grandfather 
My grandfather was a farmer, and I asked to him to help me to do the, the main character of the, my first movie, and he was 93 years old. So <laughs> I told you that I am very professor to, to produce a movie without money, but at the same time, I'm a dreamer. And uh, I put my energy in the movie, and uh, I believe that when someone do uh, act like himself, he can do a very, very good job and uh, bring the, the energy and the, uh, okay, bring the energy to the audience, okay? So I like it. I like it very much to work in Morocco and, like, and work with people that never seen uh, people from Europe, from other parts of the world. I like very much to uh, do something with them and uh, day by day discover that it's really possible to uh, do something big together without problem, without angry, just with the respect. And um, as an Italian abroad um, in Morocco, how, how did you feel? Did you feel welcome um, in, in this country? Well, um, I really want to say thank you to the grandmother of Adil because she was the person that helped us to, to do a great job. She told to all the small town, uh, hey, you have to trust to my nephew. You have to trust to Adil because he is uh, the chief of Italian group. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Also, the grandmother was very smart, but she really um, understand what's how um, how uh, how big was the, uh, the the idea to make a great movie with them with uh, respect and uh, in a very uh, good way. I'm sorry, this is very strong sentence, but I'm. Um, I think that uh, every part of the world, in every part of the world, the rural community uh, that have uh, uh, sheep, 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 and shepherds. Yes, the shepherd in the rural country live in a sort of uh, uh, castle house because they have to cover the the animals and they are very um, scared that someone. Uh, still some animals. So they, they live in a very uh, wall house and they are scared about everybody, okay? So at the start, we was, was not easy, but thank you to the grandmother and thank you to the smile and the uh, Italian ways to, uh, to find a solution in every situation. Uh, we spend a very, very important uh, time. So you were lucky to have the recommendation of the grandmother. Yes. <laughs> I, I asked you that question because um, I, I found the movie uh, beautiful and moving and very inspiring um, because its message um, was very um, positive and uh, I, I can say that even in a different completely different context um, as, a, as a somebody who moved from its country to live somewhere else um, I can say that a lot of the themes are absolutely universal but I asked you about how did you find yourself also because I, I think it's an, an important movie this in a moment where Italy um, and all of Europe is, is um, you know learning that it's very important to accept um, uh, people coming in, that they are, um, you know, uh, in, in a sense, our future is going in that direction. So I wanted to ask you, how did you feel this movie can impact um, Italy and Europe uh, relationship with, uh, um, you know, people coming in? Um. Well, um, mm -hmm. The most important thing is that we, uh, the first day that we decide to realize this movie, we want to realize a movie to the new generation. 
we want to realize a movie for to show in the school and to show uh, in the school of Europe, in the world, everywhere, okay? And to tell the story behind, behind the, the migrants and tell a story, not a documentary, but the fiction story where a teenager could have empathy with the hero of the movie, okay? So, my name is Adil, uh, starts like a project, like uh, uh, the number one movie, like a uh, project my name is. And we like to uh, have a diff in the future, produce and realize, if we found the money, um, my name is Pedro, my name is Pavel, my name is Andrea, my name is, I don't know, Jacobs and tell about story from different country and different immigration with, with young people that learn how to direct a movie about his story, okay? So, um, I like very much when someone tell about himself and change his life and uh, something uh, could be used, the, the powerful, the really powerful uh, media like the cinema, because I think the cinema is very different from other different uh, uh, communication and is very powerful if about the everybody, every t type of target, okay? And uh, um, uh, what I also wanted to ask you is um, if you, Th this is the story of, of somebody who um, dreams about um, discovering the world, moves, faces a lot of difficulties, and succeeds in, in bettering himself, in making him, himself bigger, comes back and returns enriched. I was wondering if uh, uh, you coming here and, um, you know, with, with the past success that you had here in the United States and um, if 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 uh, the America, in a sense, it's your Italy, the way the way for Adil, um, uh, Italy, uh, the way Italy was for Adil, America could be for you. Yes. Um, today is important for me, and I want to uh, give you something, some my memory to you. Uh, twenty years ago, exactly twenty years ago. I was here in New York in the, uh, for an experience. I started from Italy without uh, the knowledge of English, and you know, it's not changed so much. But at that time, <laughs> it was difficult to me count until 10. And I was without money. I found a way to get a, a visa, six months visa, because I was very good in the School of Art and tell uh, to the principal and to the embassy, I don't know, some excuse, but the idea was to, uh, you know, the old type of idea about America, and so the land of uh, opportunities about uh, cinema and industry. Well, uh, that experience was very strong for me. I am in that six month, I stay uh, two months here and four months in uh, Los Angeles. I sleep on the ground, I live with uh, a slice of pizza every two day. It was very difficult for me. And uh, I know very well when someone could be a deal or could be other person that uh, is, is very angry to find a way in a foreigner country. Very. It's very close to my heart. So um, that's to, to tell you that uh, I'm very happy to be here today and to show you my third movie and uh, to show you how, uh, what is my mm, uh, path. path, okay, my path and uh, where's my vision and where's the, uh, the place that uh, the the cinema that I wants to do. Okay, thank you very much for to be here today. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe the last question uh, would be um, for for the Italian uh, filmmakers. You know, um, should they 
should they still um, should they stay in Italy or should they look outside? Uh, should they found the money? The money? <laughs> Uh, I think it's important for every storyteller to move and to look at what's happening in the world. But um, it's so difficult to, to realize a, a movie right now for the, what's happening in the movie industry. And, um, but every, every time I tell to the uh, young audience, Okay, now it looks very difficult, but you will find a way if your way is to look in for somewhere that you really want to tell. Okay, if you have a story that really wants to tell to everybody, you will find a way to do it. That's the most important thing. I don't want to, uh, to tell you something that there is no chance to do something. There is a chance to do something. And um, I hope that this movie, this hour, it's not so long a movie, it's a one hour and 15 minutes, is uh, entire life, 26 years in one hour, and speak about uh, what happened now from Africa to Italy and Europe. And uh, I hope that uh, at the end of the movie, you have a different vision about migrant stories. And um, that's it. Thank you very much, Andrea. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, if you have any question, at the end of the movie, I will be not on the stage, but uh, I'm here to, to give you any answer that you want.